Let's take a look at a real life application that involves proportions. Usually what happens in these proportion problems is you're provided with some, some ratio, either uh, you know, a certain amount of people are left-handed compared to the general population, or a ratio of boys to girls, or like in this example, we're gonna have adults to students. And then they're gonna ask you um, how many uh, adults or left-handed people or women or whatever would be in a larger population based off of that ratio. So let's, let's take a look at this example. Here it says a, a middle school requires four adults for every 11 students for a field trip to the zoo. So we could write that as a ratio, four to 11. And that ratio is maintained, um, eight, eight adults would be required for 22 students etc. And then they say how many adults are required if the school takes a, a total of 165 students to the zoo. So we need to increase this ratio to where the denominator is actually 165. So we can write this as a proportion. 4 to 11, 4 adults to 11 students would be equivalent to x adults to 165 students. If we need four adults for every 11 students, how many adults would we need for 165 students? So when you see a keyword like how many, that means it's a quantity that you don't know, which is why we express this as a variable, like an X or a Y or something like that. So once we've taken our word problem and we've expressed it as a uh, proportion, then we'll solve the proportion. The typical way that we solve proportions is by cross multiplying. So we'll take four times 165 and set it equal to x times 11. So we'd have four times 165 equals 11x. All right now we'll go to our calculator to figure out what four times 165 is. It's gonna be a pretty big number, 660. So I have 660 equals 11x, and then we'll divide both sides by 11, and so our answer would be x equals 660 divided by 11, which will be 60. And so what is 60? Let's make sure we put the correct units, being that this is a word problem. x was the number of adults required to chaperone the trip if they're taking a total of 165 students. And that'll maintain the ratio four to 11, four adults to every 11 students.